essentially this, the, this is the way Eric uh, laid it out for us is that you will not be effective building, you know, growing and scaling your business, adding an administrator or agents, you know, building a team or interacting with clients. If you don't have the, the God family self handled, um, and even though I'm kind of generalizing this and, and saying, you know, have, have some sort of faith, trust something bigger than yourself. Uh, I do believe that, that there is, um, I don't call it a higher power, but coming from liberal parents who didn't have, you know, any sort of intimate sense of God and, and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, um, let's call it a holy power. There's something bigger out there that is, uh, is, should be guiding you. And if you want to have a direct conversation about your faith, for sure, reach out to me. Um, I'm not the ex expert. I'm not a biblical scholar, but I can definitely help you with that as well. But prioritize the relationship with God, uh, the relationship with your family, and then the relationship with yourself. So if you're off on those three things, chances are you're not going to be any good to anyone as it relates to scaling your, your, your business, adding team members and serving them at the highest level, and then having them love on your clients ultimately. So you're going to be disconnected if you don't have the base of this um, dialed in properly. And so this isn't necessarily like an altar call or where like, hey, like if you don't know Jesus, like this is your time. And at the same time, I really, I want you to, and this is a, the, the little bit of a challenge is that I want you to take some quiet time and just kind of think about where you place your faith. Two, two questions, where you place your faith. Is it in a, a coaching program, a way of doing business, your own abilities, um, or if you aren't, if you're, if you don't have a lot of faith, are you more fearful? There's a spectrum of faith and fear. Are you more fearful? And then what, what makes you fearful? And then I would argue that there's this virtuous cycle of, of faith and, and, and fear. If you got, can identify the things that make you fearful, like mortgage rates, the, the global, um, unrest, the, the social unrest in the U.S., mortgage rates, you know, oh, the market's going to crash or there's not enough inventory, you know, whatever your, your feet, you know, you're spinning in your head in terms of your fears, by refocusing on God or your faith, your family and getting those relationships right, and then ultimately taking care of yourself. And that's your emotional well-being that's your physical well-being um and obviously your spiritual well-being which kind of links back into the into the faith and, and the god part um so that's my challenge for you just take a little bit of quiet time to really think about how you're showing up how you're operating and if you're leaning towards the fear side of things right now you've you've got to take some steps backward and realize that even if for now it's not faith in God or, or, you know, walking alongside Jesus, it could just be faith in, you know, in coming alongside real estate B school or coming alongside a mastermind group or a productivity partner in your local market to place your faith in something that's consistent, that can give you the stability to get out of fear mode. And so trust God and chill. That's the ultimate message.